Equatorial Guinea Officially the Republic of Equatorial Guinea is a country on the west coast of Central Africa, with an area of 28,000 square kilometers. Formerly the colony of Spanish Guinea, its post-independence name evokes its location near both the equator and the Gulf of Guinea. As of 2021, the country has a population of over 1.4 million inhabitants. Equatorial Guinea consists of two parts, an insular and a mainland region. The insular region consists of the islands of Bioko formerly Fernando Po in the Gulf of Guinea and Anabon, a small volcanic island that is the only part of the country south of the equator. Bioko Island is the northernmost part of Equatorial Guinea, and is the site of the country's capital, Malabo. Equatorial Guinea gained independence in 1968 after 190 years of Spanish rule. It is one of the smallest countries in Africa consisting of a mainland territory, and five inhabited islands. Between 1968 and 1979, autocratic president Francisco Macias Ngama virtually destroyed all of the country's political, economic, and social institutions before being deposed by his nephew Teodoro Abyung Ngama Mbosogo in a coup. President Abyung has ruled since October 1979. He has been elected several times since 1996, and was most recently re-elected in 2016. Although nominally a constitutional democracy since 1991, presidential and legislative elections since 1996 have generally been labeled as flawed. The president exerts almost total control over the political system and has placed legal and bureaucratic barriers that hinder political opposition. Equatorial Guinea experienced rapid economic growth in the early years of the 21st century due to the discovery of large offshore oil reserves in 1996. Before we continue profiling the people, cultures, climate, economy, and lots more of Equatorial Guinea, permit me welcome you to Positive Africa. Here on this channel, our core focus is to showcase the positive face of Africa out to the world by means of information and education. Consider subscribing and turning on the post notification bell so you never miss out on any of our videos. The majority of the people of Equatorial Guinea are of Bantu origin. The largest ethnic group, the Fang, is indigenous to the mainland, but substantial migration to Bioko Island has resulted in Fang dominance over the earlier Bubi inhabitants. The Fang constitute 80% of the population, and are themselves divided into 67 clans. Those in the northern part of Rio Muni speak Fang Tumu, while those in the south speak Fang Oka. The two dialects are mutually unintelligible. The Bubi, who constitute 15% of the population, are indigenous to Bioko Island. In addition, there are coastal ethnic groups, collectively referred to as Endel or Playeros also known as the Beach People in Spanish. Two small groups of Pygmies also inhabit the country, the Bayeli and the Bokuin, the former being located in the Altos de Nsork region. Their population is dwindling, and sadly, they are being subjected to heavy pressure from their neighbors, who don't even consider them as human. 8,800 black and white mixed-race people, named Fernandino peoples, also live in Equatorial Guinea. The Asian Africans, the Fernandino peoples, and the white Africans represent 10% of the total population of Equatorial Guinea. Some Europeans largely of Spanish or Portuguese descent among them mixed with African ethnicity also live in the nation. There is a growing number of foreigners from neighboring Cameroon, Nigeria, and Gabon. The official languages of the country are Spanish and French. Spanish is taught in schools and used by the press, it is the primary means of communication common to both Bioko and the mainland. As a result of Equatorial Guinea's closer economic association with Francophone countries beginning in 1983, French became a compulsory subject in schools in 1988 and an official language in 1997. In addition, an English-based creole is used extensively in petty commerce and forms the lingua franca on Bioko, and a Portuguese patois is spoken on both Bioko and Anabon. Equatorial Guinea has a tropical climate with distinct wet and dry seasons. From June to August, Rio Muni is dry and Bioko wet, from December to February, the reverse happens. In between, there is a gradual transition. 
Rain or mist occurs daily on Annabon, where a cloudless day has never been registered. The temperature at Malabo, Bioko, ranges from 16 degrees Celsius to 33 degrees Celsius, though on the southern Mocha Plateau normal high temperatures are only 21 degrees Celsius. In Rio Muni, the average temperature is about 27 degrees Celsius. Annual rainfall varies from 193 cm at Malabo to 1092 cm at Eureka and Bioko, but Rio Muni is somewhat drier. Much of the continental portion of Equatorial Guinea is covered by dense tropical rainforest that has long been exploited by the lumbering industry. More than 140 species of wood are found, of which the most important commercially are Okun, African walnut, and various mahoganies. A secondary forest growth has replaced the virgin rainforest. Mangroves fringe long stretches of the coast as well as riverbanks. Bioko has a greater variety of tropical vegetation, including mangroves. The continental region has a rich animal life that includes gorillas, chimpanzees, various monkeys, leopards, buffalo, antelope, elephants, hippopotamuses, crocodiles, and various snakes, including pythons. Insects abound, including the tsetse fly and the malaria-bearing Anopheles mosquito, as well as hosts of ants, beetles, spiders, and termites. Bioko has no big game, but has various monkeys, dwarf antelopes, and rodents, as well as mosquitoes and other insects. Equatorial Guinea's economy has suffered from the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. The drop in global demand and oil prices occasioned by the crisis coupled with the drop in household consumption, and the slowdown in business activities due to measures to contain the spread of the disease exacerbated the country's already serious growth problems. Before independence, Equatorial Guinea exported cocoa, coffee, and timber, mostly to its colonial ruler, Spain, but also to Germany and the UK. On January 1, 1985, the country became the first non-francophone African member of the franc zone, adopting the CFA franc as its currency. The national currency, the Equale, had previously been linked to the Spanish peseta. The discovery of large oil reserves in 1996 and its subsequent exploitation contributed to a dramatic increase in government revenue. Forestry, farming, and fishing are also major components of GDP. Subsistence farming predominates. The deterioration of the rural economy under successive brutal regimes has diminished any potential for agriculture-led growth. Education is compulsory and free for all children ages 6 to 11. Efforts have been made to improve educational opportunities, and illiteracy has declined over the years, while more than four-fifths of the population is literate. The National University of Equatorial Guinea is located in Malabo. Now you know the country. Are you a citizen of Equatorial Guinea or you having plans to visit the country? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more informative and educational videos.